To what do I owe this visit? Chief, I don't, I'm not in the mood to enter his house. You owe nothing but a simple explanation. Okay. Chief, I was suspended yesterday from the night of St. Molumba. Just because of my daughter, who allowed her boyfriend to impregnate her. And I want to ask this simple question. Should I be responsible for my daughter's misdeed? No. Is it my fault that my daughter, who is grown, allowed herself to be impregnated? No, 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 I, I don't think so. But you were there. You were there in the church when they agreed to suspend me and you just can't say anything. You say nothing about that. No, 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 no. no. I, I'm through with that church. In fact, they should make that suspension indefinite. Uh, wait, wait, wait. See, first of all, I was not there when the final decision was made. I was not there. Huh? Maybe I would have said something, but I was not there. And second of all, uh, I advise that you seek redress. Don't just run away from the church. See, ours is the church of God, not church of man. That's man's decision. Don't run away from there. Seek redress. You understand me? Yes. But so where is your daughter now? Where else should we, will she be? She's in my house. God forbid. My house. In your house? Now that one is not good. God forbid that any of my daughters who, who, whose bread price has not been paid will get pregnant for somebody and remain in my house. Now, that is not possible. I will never allow that. Ah, no, that one is not good. Good day, sir. Oh, uh, hello, young man. What can I do for you? I'm here to see one Miss Peace Naji. What, what is the problem? I came to deliver her pictures. Oh, oh, that's my daughter. Uh, let me have it. So that's what you do, Master. Can you see my brother? Can you see why I'm angry okay. with that old fool, that castrated fool? It's okay. Just, just sit with you. Thank you. Is she owing you any money? No, sir. She has paid. Very well. Thank you. So, don't run away. What? Um, wait. We will talk more about this. Eh? So, you go back there and seek redress. You seek redress, eh? That's how you should do it. You should be now. Yes. Yes. Please! Please! Why would you address our daughter as such? Now you tell me, you tell me what or how to explain this if it's not stupidity. Tell me, she might as well be naked while taking this picture with that stupid boy. Is it not stupidity? Jesus Christ! What? What is this? Why do you all want to disgrace me in this family? Why do you like to embarrass me? But dad, what's the problem? Chinid, take a look. Take a look at those pictures on the table. See what your sister is doing to herself. Peace. Peace! All your plans have failed. All your plans have failed. Even you want to put your father and I to ridicule and shame? Is that what you want? Peace. Yeah. Where did you learn this kind of lifestyle from? Who taught you? Your father or me? If you know, if you know where you borrowed this character, I want you to return it today. Do you hear me? I am a knight of the sense Mulumba. 
your mother here is a lady of the night of St. Mulumba. We all attend church. We send you to the convent to learn good behaviors. We have tried. God knows we have tried our best to bring you up in a godly manner. But this is what we have learned. All you do is to go there and learn how to take naked pictures with boys. Ah! Only God knows how much they laugh at us out there. <laughs> because you come home and behave like good children of God. Not knowing that you are useless out there. Do you know that Saeed Bikwe was suspended from knighthood because his daughter got pregnant without getting married? Is that what you want from me? I will not let that happen to me. No! You will not bring me to shame like that. That useless plan will not work. Not for me. And let me tell you. If you as much as come this close, this close to what his daughter did, oh, I will not only disown you, any one of you, I will burn everything that has to do with you in my life. Mark my word. You've seen it. You've seen it. I won't add anything more than your father has just said. If you know what is good for you, just go back to that God-forsaken wretched boyfriend of yours and tell him that it is over. Peace. Read my lips. It is over between both of you. Let me see, I just took a Shut up. Why is this happening to me? Why are my parents not saying things the way I do? What is wrong in being in a relationship with someone? My dad doesn't want to see me close to any guy. He doesn't care that I have feelings. He doesn't care that I'm a woman. I am tired of being my dad's pet. I am a woman and there's nothing wrong in doing things that women do. Sammy is the man. There is no two ways about it. No two ways. Friends has no name. Musa. Now listen to me. Henceforth, please do not cross that gate unless I give you permission to open the gate for her. Dad. You understand me? Yes, sir. Dad, what, what are you doing? Now why don't you get back in your room and find something useful to do?
crazy for a woman before. <sighs> I don't know. I'm suddenly carried away with emotions. I've not been able to concentrate. <sighs> My mind is filled up with a thought of peace. It's exactly two weeks now since we last saw each other. Please allow this night to break in today so that we can talk this issue over before it's late. I didn't really ask you why you came out by that time of the night. Yeah, I was carrying you, but what happened? I had a little problem with my dad. He took my phones. He wouldn't let me leave. He locked the gate. I'm like, it's like I'm under house arrest. I can't go anywhere. Because we had a little misunderstanding. Over what? Those pictures we took. Pictures? I don't understand. Those pictures of you and I. Oh, God. Baby, I warned you. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. <sighs> so how do you react to it? He just snaps at every little thing I do. Everything I do is an issue. He watches every of my move. I'm so confused. Baby, you don't have to be confused, okay? Your dad knows what he's doing. Just see that he's overdoing it. He's being overprotective. Yeah, that one I can understand. But to me, I think he cares so much about it. He you. doesn't care about me. He doesn't care about my feelings. He doesn't care about anything I want. All he cares about is himself. And that is why I am afraid. Afraid of what? I'm am I not here for you? I'm afraid of losing you. You have no idea what my father can do. Baby, I can walk to the valley of shadow of death just to protect this love. Oh, just stop it. Baby, I'm Be serious. serious. I'm serious. I love you. Okay? I scaled through the fence last night just come and see me. You did what? And I'm sure my dad is looking for me. So when I say this serious, I mean it. Please, you just have to start going now, please. No, that's what I'm saying. I, just... I beg you in the name of God. I don't want your father's problem. Please, please. You just have to, please. Just run away. Baby, I know. Let, we'll plan that. Baby, please. You just have to start going. I love you. I miss you. Everything. But just let, let, you have to leave here now. I don't want your daddy's problem. Please. Baby, please. <sighs> Yeah, that's and my I baby. wanted to shower. Shower, ke? Ha, baby, please, please. I love you. Thank you. I will never do anything to scatter my love for you. 
Believe me when I say I'm prepared to bear anything to be with you. But a lot of them are fighting to murder this feeling I feel for you. So baby, pray for me. Cause poverty gets plenty enemies. Trailer that hit you. Where? Don't be small to I swear. How my face be? I know this is caused by that useless girl. I know it. What kind of man being are you? Eh? Upon all this man told you about his daughter, you still went ahead. Eh? Listen, let me tell you. The blood of a poor man is like water before the eyes of a rich man. It doesn't take anything for them to waste it. So if you like, hear me. If you don't like, continue with the way you're living. How do you like this kind thing now? Eh? <laughs> well, you know I love this girl now. I love peace. See, if they like me, they beat me. I can never live peace. Oh, no, they are <laughs> I love that. You see? Now waiting love the cost now. Eh? Hmm. This one is small. Relax and take the pains, eh? See, wait. Make her go bring a bunny key. Let me get a bunny key. Nobody send That's you. Come, come. Make her. Nobody send you. I don't beg you. <laughs> ah, they come. No, go find love. They are there. Nah. They are come bullshit. I try. Please, I'm not in the mood for this. I don't want to talk, please.
Honey. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. Yes, I'm scared. This girl is starving herself to death. You better do something. Please do something before it gets out of hand. Hmm. So, has she told you anything yet? I mean, has she confided in you? No. Like what? See, that's the point. How can I do something when she has not told us anything? He's not talking to us. But there is one thing I know, though. She has to use her head. She has to start thinking straight. And forget about this, this thing, this boy here that is confusing her. She has to use her head. In fact, I think I know what I would do. I will send her abroad. Really? I think, yes, I think she will forget about him the moment he's out of here. She will. I'll make some money available to you. Take her out for shopping. Then she can go abroad. Thank you so much. That would be so nice. Yes. Okay. What about me? I will never do anything to scatter my love for you. Believe me when I say I'm prepared to do anything to be with you. But a lot of them are fighting to murder this feeling I feel for you. So baby, pray for me, cause poverty gets plenty enemy. Dear my love, don't you cry. I hear them say to love will never die. My love is true, I bring you the moon. My baby, I'm coming home to you. Sent you. Don't you think I've had enough trouble for the year? No more troubles. How do you mean? Has your father changed his mind? The question is, have you changed your mind? Baby, as for me, nothing has changed. It's just your father. I don't think we can make it. Yes, we can. My father is not a problem. Sweetheart, love covers everything. As long as you and I are still willing. And then we concluded that you would travel uh, abroad. Now, but before you go, you will come here and uh, do necessary things before you would travel. You know? uh, 
I, at least my daughter will not go with a man somewhere without doing necessary things. Necessary things? Like what? Please, I'm so happy for you. Oh, you shut up and sit down. What is wrong with you, Dad? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Hey, like, you know, to come pay your bride price, uh, do a little ceremony, you know. At least I can't let you go like that without doing uh, uh, what is necessary. <laughs> That's a joke, right? No, my daughter, it's not a joke. I told your father to give you some time so that we will talk over it. Ah. At least I am your mother and a woman like you. So you are begging her now? Hmm? You are begging her now? But I'm trying to protect her family here. I'm trying to protect my name, eh? my integrity and status as, as, as a knight. I cannot believe you. Ah. No. I can't believe you, Dad. I'm you for that is what I deserve? Ah. No, seriously, that is what I deserve? Sister, please take it. Oh, you shut up! to talk. There's nothing to talk about, Mom. Not after arranging me for marriage and then traveling. You have to understand that things does not work always the way you think. I am an adult. I am 23, Mom. I have the right to make my own choice. Yes, I know, my daughter. I know. But you know that your parents' decision could be the best for you. He doesn't I'm want to already suffer. suffering. All that he cares about is, is money, power, position. He doesn't care about how I feel. He doesn't care that I'm a woman with feelings. You should understand. We know all that. Yes, we know all that. That's why your father have agreed with Mr. Wallace's son, Michael. He's a mechanical engineer in America to marry you instead of that wretched gold digger. Yes. With that, you can express your feeling to the right person. And who is the right person? Michael. Mom. Is this how your parents wished you away in marriage? If that is the case, my own will not be like that. I will not marry a man that I do not love or care about because you people want me to. I will not. Peace. 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 Don't do what you regret later. Don't do what you regret later. We know what's good for you. If you don't. Obviously. You know what? You have today and tomorrow to think about that. Okay? There is nothing to think about. Someone is coming from my introduction. You think about Is it that you're always aggressive when it comes to settling family matters? Why? That is not the best way to run a home. I am tired of talking to this person and listening to another letter. Let's put our heads together and talk about this issue once and for all. Please? <laughs> Listen, darling. 
if your daughter has bribed you, connive with you so you can manipulate me. No, it won't work. It won't work. My stand do not change. She is marrying Michael Okara. That's it. Oh, darling, you know me more than that. I am not disputing what you said. Okay. Hey, neither do I dispute what P said. Both of you could be right, you know. I just want you to talk to her. Talk to her. She's your daughter, please. Now, let me get this straight. What do you really expect me to do? Go to her and get on my knees and appeal to her? Listen. I married you. I, I paid your bride price. See, this is my house. And we all live under my roof. As long as we all live under my roof, my roof stands here. Do you understand that? I know those lines. I built this house. I married you. She is my daughter. For your information, that girl has been sleeping in that room for two days now. Two whole days. Without eating, she has not eaten, she has not tested anything. And I doubt, I doubt if she's still alive. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Don't spoil my day. I have a place to go. <laughs> Hello, is my shepherd. Hello, is my shepherd. It has been a long time since you came to my house. The frog, they say, doesn't run in daytime for nothing. I hope all is well. <laughs> Uncle? Uncle is so cool. But, Uncle, it's not as if I disappeared, though. I've been around, though. And I always have it in mind. It's just that I've been waiting to see if things will get better. Like now that I'm coming to see you, I should come with something. You understand? But, <laughs> Uncle, forgive me, yeah? No, no I'll be coming more often now. No, no problem about that. Um, who is this young man over there? Ooh, His uncle. face looks familiar. Ah, Uncle, he's my friend, though. Emeka, Mekus. Uncle, he's a businessman, though. Huh? Eh? Ha. He deals on spare parts. Do you know the popular Idumata market? Oh, that's where he is. Spare parts in Idumata. <laughs> My son, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. He's the one I'm staying with. <laughs> no problem. He's the one I'm staying with. <laughs> I like people that, that deals with spare parts in Idumata market. <laughs> yeah. Uncle, yeah. I want to get married. Yes. Uncle, I want to get married. I, and I want us to go for an introduction tomorrow. This tomorrow. You want to get married? Yes, Uncle. <laughs> My son has grown up to get married. Yes, Uncle. <laughs> Uncle, her name is Peace Naji. Uh, yeah? The daughter of Chief Sa Naji. Hmm. Uncle, her father is a knight. Oh. Uh. Ah, she's a nice girl. You like her? <laughs> My son, I am solidly behind you. Thank you, Uncle. <laughs> um, you know, in cases like this, there are some specific things you need to know about, about this thing you're going into. Like the girl in question, I hope you have spoken with her. Ah, hmm? well, that one is not a problem. And um, you should know some necessary things you need to come with. Ah, Uncle, I've gotten a bottle of hot drink. You know, here in Lagos, we hardly see all this our normal palm wine. So, I got a bottle of hot drink. In fact, that hot drink is okay. Yes. It's okay. okay. Ah. And I also want you to come here. You can come here so that me and you will now go to their place. No problem. I am shortly behind you. Hmm? Thank you, Uncle. <laughs> Uncle, uh -huh. I need to go now so that let me go and prepare. I can't wait. No problem. <laughs> Hey, I'll go take somewhere. You. <laughs> take out. Bro. You must give me. Take yeah, out. Take out. Uh, my son. Uncle, <laughs> yeah. let me go. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Ah, my son. Ah.
getting married. That is it. I want both of you to talk to your father. Just let us go Count your blessing over one by one. Count your blessing. And why is everyone sitting here quietly? Where is peace? She's still in there. Dad, Dad, please. I said, please. Let's handle this issue like matured people. Peace should be allowed to live her life. Besides, she's a university graduate. What's the sense of spending those years in the university if she cannot be allowed to handle her affairs? Dad, please, you should be suggestive. You should be advising her not to be deciding for her on what to do on this issue. Dad, Dad, please, please, give peace a chance. Let her handle this issue herself. I'm just tired of this whole thing. Dad, I think Chinedu has a point. Peace is in there dying. And here you are, insisting on Chief Obara's son marrying her. Look, there's no reason you will give us that will be good enough should anything happen to her. If you force a horse to the river, Dad will also force it to drink the water. Tell him all. Tell him. All I want is my daughter to be alive. I'm after her well-being. She has not taken anything. I guess that makes you happy. <laughs> so what tells me this is not a well-rehearsed drama? Hmm? Dad. Who is fooling who here? And who is fooling who? Michael, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you very much, Ma. Chief, you're welcome. Thank you very much. How is everything? 
And we tango so so. Nice business. Yeah, we tango for everything. Thank you. <laughs> My friend. Hey. Okbarana. Hey, Ebu Bediki. Ebu Bediki. I see. I don't want to call it John. Do you know people refer to you as the dry meat that fills the mouth? Because they know me too well. <laughs> Please do permit me to formally introduce my son to you. This is Michael, my son. Yeah. I'm Michael, son. I can tell. I can tell. Ah, ah. Michael of yesterday. Ah, a little boy of yesterday. <laughs> we can say that again, Chief. You have grown so big and, uh, and handsome. Huh? Thank you, sir. Very, very good. Very good. Ah, ah, you're welcome. Hey, darling, please go bring cola for our guests. And then tell them um, my daughter that she has guests. Tell who? Please now. Uh, everybody, I'm, I'm very sorry. I hope uh, we didn't take it by surprise. Uh, yes, because uh, our people do say that uh, a matter previously discussed is always being accepted. By me shaking of heads. Ah, you, you are quite right. Well, you can never take us by surprise. Ah, my wife and I, we are prepared for this day for a long time. Mm. Yes, it is just that um, uh, uh, you cannot, you, you cannot uh, predict these young children of these days. Mm. Uh -huh. So uh, we have to let us see if not still where we kept it mm. on the wrapper. Yes, yes. I don't like the way you're treating this matter. Uh -uh. I don't. You, you are playing it like a game. Why not come out and declare and tell them actually what's happening? Tell them what? The truth. The truth. That peace, our daughter, is not interested in marrying their son. Maybe they can give us some time to come around or get another girl for their son. What is wrong with you? Hey, what's wrong with you? I can't go back on my word. Yes, I will not. I already said it. I can't go back on my word. Sit down. To... Sorry, my <laughs> my friend. Um, in fact, I must. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I must apologize on my daughter's behalf. Mm, I'm just getting to know now that uh, she went to the salon to fix her hair. You know, these young ladies you must look good at all times. Yeah? Especially more that you're now that you know you're, you're, you're coming. I see. Yeah, that's true. Um, Chief, there's no problem, okay? I think what is left is for her to see me. At least let's get to know each other better. And I pray she likes me. Of course she'll like you. But as for me, I'm okay with my dad's choice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. You are a true son of your father. That's Thank right. you, Chief. Thank you, sir. I like that. Yeah. But don't worry. It's, 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 it's yours already. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's have a drink. Let's have a drink. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, Chief. Uh, I would have even uh, proposed a toast. But uh, since your daughter is not here to give us her consent in totality, might just have to wait. Hey, you are right. But uh, see, I know it is said that you do not name a child until the child is born. But I. I name such child. Mm. Yes, I do. Everybody says, mm? you are a great man. And I'm telling you, like, peace is your wife. Just. <laughs> mm? <laughs> you came to plan towards your marriage. Oh, thank you very much. Chief. <laughs> thank you, Chief. I, I can't wait, Dad. I can't wait. <laughs> That's what I'm going Chief. Yeah, yeah. We but appreciate I, everything. And. Come, let me.
No. He's asking of peace. Maybe you will take him to the room. Let's see if you can open the door for him. Yes, please. Take me anyway, please. All right, follow me. I need you to understand very, very well. Because I don't want your son to do anything that will endanger his own life. Okay? Yes. See, my reputation as a knight of St. Muluma is at stake here. My daughter cannot marry anyone who is not a member of the Roman Catholic Church. Okay. Hmm? It is not possible. You understand that? I do. <laughs> so it is it is very, very important that it stays clear of my daughter. Hmm? Okay, so that he cannot endanger his own life. Peace. Baby. Please come and open the door. Baby. Baby, it's me. Baby, it's me, Sammy, your love, your choice. Baby, I'm here for you. I'm here, to, I'm here with my uncle to ask for your hand in marriage. Baby. Baby, this is what we've always wanted. Baby, let's immortalize this love once and for all. Forever, baby. Maybe nothing to stop us, remember. Not even the gods. Maybe this love is unbreakable. Boo boo. Sugar. Honey pie. Maybe please come and approve our coming now, please. Baby! She didn't open the door. This girl wants to kill herself. Are you sure she's in there? I will make no kill myself before she kills herself in my presence. Mom, it has not gotten to that. Please. Please talk to him. After you have talked to him, bring him to my office. Eh? I will find something for him. At least if he has like uh, three, four, even five million naira to, to start life, he can marry a woman of his own choice. He will. Five million naira? Yes, just for him to start something. <laughs> Chief. Don't worry, I'll do my best. I'll talk to him very well. And I'll bring him to your office. Talk to him. So you give us. Yes, you know. So, okay. Him. Him, He can start his new life. He will marry a woman of his own choice. No problem. He's done. Dear my love, don't you cry. I hear them say true love will never die. My love is true, I bring you the moon. My baby, I'm coming home to you. Dear my love, never you cry. Shelly them say true love will never die. My love is true, I bring you the moon. As I promise, I'm coming home to you. Baby, it's alright. It's alright. It's alright. So that's that's exactly what, what we do. <laughs> what is the exception of what I want? What's so funny? Peace. Peace. Where's peace? Where, where's that boy? Chief, I'll be
be on my way now. I think I will meet him at home. So, so you planned this all along? You planned this? Planned what? Planned what? Tell him, why, why, why can't you allow this girl to prove something to us? Allow her to express herself! Excuse me. Uh, in my order, this plan will not work. It will not work. Not in my house here. Not here. It will not work. Samuel. Have I wronged you in any way? Hmm? No, Uncle. Have I permitted any evil to come near you? No, Uncle. Thank you for answering me. Since the death of your parents, I took you to be my son. And God forbid I allow any evil come near you. To fear what? God forbid. Samuel, Uncle. they say he that dances to the tune of Surugede should know that it is the music of the dead. My son, Uncle, there is no need beating around the bush. It's about Chief Naji and his daughter. Uncle, what about him again? I thought you've discussed everything with him now. That day that he took you out and you people went inside that other... Uh, yeah. Yes and no. Yes, we agreed on something. No, he refuses you to marry his daughter. Samuel, Chief Naji is not your match. You are in no competition with him. He has money. I will advise you to stay clear of his daughter, or else he will kill you. Look, he has promised to give you five million naira and a trip to Europe if you stay clear of his daughter. You should be happy that he's not sending you away empty handed. He even promised to take you to Europe within a week. Samuel, I will advise you stay clear of his daughter. Hmm. Hmm. Uncle? Don't tell me he's trying to buy me off her daughter. Uncle, there is nothing that can separate me and peace. So. Nothing. I can't betray my love for her. I can't betray our love now. Not even money. Damn it, John again. Samuel, we're talking about something important here. You're talking about love this, love that. Five million naira. You can become great in life. If I'm you, with five million naira, you will become a man. You go to Europe, you will make money. You will have fame. Name it, whatever you want. Women, you have it. But. Uncle, is, is it? There is no boss. He has given us up to 10 o'clock tomorrow morning to come for 5 million naira and a trip to Europe. Samuel, use your sense. Oh, eh? Keep on in. 
Jaka Kuturum Gita. Why did I even involve this man in this? Why? I wish my father is still alive. At least he will understand me. This one. Once he has money, he would. But wait, dude. Hey, I won't talk about it, go out. Eh? Should I just grab this money? Like my uncle have said. You know? Travel. And maybe come back later. Come and use that money and nurture my love for peace. Maybe drop a note for her through a maker or something. Wait. Or should I even make arrangements so that I can even run away with her? <laughs> I'm not living peace, what do you mean, Nako? Uh, yes. The reason why I call you out of your busy schedule, okay, is that I need to explain some things to you. Mm. I know you only have a little while now to go before you go back. See, which was which is what I want to tell you about. You must come to the house more frequently. Yes, you must come more frequently, so you and Peace will get used to each other. See. Because the more you, you, you meet each other, the more you understand one another. This one that each time you get together, you are like strangers. That is not good. Yeah, you must you must come. <laughs> it's okay, Chief. I understand what you mean. Trust me, I do. My father also said the same thing. Aha, see? But you know one thing with me, I'm always busy. Mm. But don't worry, I'll make out time to see her. I will. Ah, you find time out of your busy schedule to see the love of your life, eh? She's at home now, doing nothing. I know she would like to go out. So, then just, just, then it's all yours. <laughs> all you have to do is go there, or take her out, and uh, eh? get to each other. I get the picture, sir. I Good. get the picture. Good. Good. Should right. I let my secretary get something? No, 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 don't bother. Such a cool. No, 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 don't bother. I took something great on my way coming. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Very good. Very good. All right, let me just run along. I'll stop by to see your daughter. That would be nice. I'll make it work. That would be nice. Eh? All right, Chief. It's been great to take care. Thank you so much, sir. Take care, son. If not for your father, sir, what is this thing chain put on your neck? Your father is not around if he's the one you came to see. I didn't come to see your father. I came to see you. Yes. Hmm. See Since when? I cannot remember inviting you over. So why do you have to badge it on people? Why would you ask me to sit instead of throwing all these questions at me? <laughs> you want to sit? Ray, please make yourself comfortable, darling. Hey, stop, okay? Come on. Listen, we can't continue like this, okay? Come on, we can't continue like this. Why don't we trash this whole thing and talk about it? All right? Listen, we need to talk about this because we are the ones involved here. Okay? <laughs> uh, at, at least we're making progress. Uh -huh. You acknowledge the fact that you have to talk to the woman you have been forced to marry. And the thing is, you, your father, my father, Whatever you people are planning will not happen. You're wasting your time. Hmm? Yes, 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 I mean it. Because I don't understand it. There's no connection. You and I are not compatible. I don't like you. Talk less of loving you. You get it now. So, whatever you're doing, just stop it, please. All right, listen now. It's been bothering me myself, okay? That's why we need to talk about this. Your father and my father see things differently, okay? That's why I came for us to settle things amicably. Listen, why don't I take you to somewhere comfortable, decent, so we can talk things over? Somewhere where nobody can, you know, interrupt us. I didn't ask you to sit. I didn't ask you to sit. You know what? Um, 10 a.m. 
10 a.m. tomorrow will be fine. I'll text you the venue. You can go. I've not been able to sleep because of this. You won't believe it. You must be a bad person. <laughs> All right. You know what? Um, say me hi to your father when he comes back, okay? And may the Lord bless his words for you today. Amen. Now, uh, please. Uh, don't turn to your Bible, please, and read uh, Deuteronomy 5, verse 16. Deuteronomy 5, verse 16. Honor thy father and thy mother, as the Lord has commanded thee that thy days may be prolonged and that it may go well with thee in the land which the Lord has given thee. Yes, very good. Very good. Now, Chinedu, read them um, Proverb chapter 4 verses 1 and 2. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 2. Hear ye children the instruction of a father, and I tend to know and understand. For I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. Good. Very good. Very good. Now, <clears throat> Jane, now turn your Bible to First Peter, verses 3, chapter 3, verse 1. First Peter, chapter 3, verse 1. Likewise, wives, be submissive to your own husband. That is stop. Stop right there. Yes. Yes. Allow her. Allow her to read that same chapter to verse 7. Berlin. Please, don't interrupt me. I am conducting to this devotion. Please. Now. <clears throat> uh, Chinedu. Read Ephesians 5, verses 21 to 24. Submitting yourselves one to another. No, 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 no. Um, start from verse 22, please. Okay, okay, sir. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Yes. For the, for the husband is the herd of the wife. Yes. Even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, okay. love your okay. wife. That's okay. okay. That's okay. okay. Yes. Now, he will have ears. Let him hear. Well, that will be enough for today. Now, <clears throat> please, please pray for us. But it's not my turn to pray today. It's Tinedu's turn. Uh, I request that you pray for us today, please. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for a day like this. We thank you for making it possible for us all to see this day. We thank you for bringing us all together in unity. Lord, you said in your word that where two or three are gathered in your name, surely you are there. Yes. Therefore, Lord, on that note, we agree and we ask that you bless Sammy for this family. Father, bless Sammy. Bless him beyond all reasonable doubt. Protect him and guide him. Let all his hard desires be granted in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, 
I commit my father into your hands. Let him understand that marriage is, is for love. Let him understand that marriage should be done with love and not by force. Let him understand... In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Name of the Father. Gonna be done. Um, this is two million here. Wow. Two million. Yeah. And that should be enough for him to make his movements. You understand? Uh -huh. That's um. Uh, so while you take him, I will help him check through his uh, documents, whatever he needs to do, so they are correct and they are ended. The rest are sure. As good. In fact, I don't know how to thank you for ah, all you have done for us. We will be forever indebted to you, sir. Okay, it's all right. <laughs> thank you, Julie. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, take him and then check his document. Make sure, make sure everything is ready for him. All right. And you, you follow him. Uh, actually, sir, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. Oh. But all, all, all the same, I'm, I'm grateful. Thank, thank you, sir. You don't have to say anything. All I just want for you is when you get to Dublin, settle down. You have money in your hand. Settle down and think about what you want to do. Think about your future. Forget about here. Forget about anything here. Just face your future. Take him and go and make sure his documents are correct. All right. Go. Let's go. Um, so, Chief, well, what you do for me is this. Make sure that he leaves the country and he goes there and faces his own life. Make sure he stays away from my family. Okay, Chief. Hmm? And that way, we won't have any problem. <laughs> no problem, Chief. Consider it done. <laughs> good, good. good. Uh, can you manage that money? Uh, yes, I can. <laughs> Sammy yesterday, where he was telling me that there's some problem between the babe and the family. I'll be where you see the money. He go bank robbery, all in down the court people head say. I tell you, I also heard that the babe has gone so wild that even the person of you control him anymore. That is the case I want to state here. The father sponsored Sammy's trip. He gave Sammy five million naira to travel with. Che! Eh? Five million to five travel mi with. Five million what? A baby, five million. What I'm telling you is a top secret. Even peace doesn't know about it. So you guys should bring your voices to know. Sure. Are you telling me that peace is not even aware of this? Are you doubting me? 
Don't worry, I have a proof. Sammy sent this letter okay. for me to give to Peace. Let me read it out so you guys can hear it. Okay. Okay. Sweetheart, I don't know exactly how to tell you this. I know by the time this note gets to you, mm. I will be in Ghana preparing to go to Dublin. My uncle and your father compelled me to take this offer of 5 million naira mm. and leave the country immediately. There wasn't any chance of me to get to you before I left. Peace, I swear. I love you so much. And I'm coming home for you as soon as possible. Please, rely on the Mecca for my messages. <laughs> love you dearly. Sammy. Hey, Mecca, <laughs> come to think of it. Don't you think if this girl reads this letter, definitely she's going to kill herself? Read what? Am I going to give her this letter? Just watch me destroy this letter because I'm not going to give it to her. You destroy the letter? Why? See, I can't face Sammy's problem. You know how Sammy is. When it comes to the issue of peace, he can pieces and tear anybody. If the mother were to even be alive, hmm? Sammy will kill the mother again. I'm telling you, over peace. I've told you. I don't care. He can piss his anyone. I don't care. Okay. It's your own problem. What again? Uh, let me say hi to your dad before I leave. Not today. You can save that for another time. Just go. Why? Because you're getting too close for my comfort and I don't like it. Oh, come on, dear. Let me say hi to the old men before I leave. Yeah. Oh, here they are. Yeah. And they seem to be getting along very well. Of course, why not? See, you know these American young men, they know how to make a woman want them. Yes, he's very handsome and very educated too. <laughs> Ah. Good afternoon, Father. Hello. Good, Good afternoon, Father. Good afternoon. How, How are, are you? you? Like, we are fine. We, we were you. just uh, talking about you. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, oh, yes. yes. Uh, when are you coming to see me and let me know the date you have chosen? Oh, the date. Oh, the date. All right, um, I'm trying to fix one or two things together. I promise to let you know of the date once it's ready. Very well. <laughs> Peace. Hmm? You're not saying anything. <laughs> well, Father, that's because I don't have anything to say. Really? You know, I, I think I should just say this. I am pregnant. I am pregnant for the man you will not accept as your son-in-law. For who? Michael? No, Sammy. My father knows what I'm talking about. The man that I love. You are definitely possessed no, no, chief. by the devil. Chief. You're possessed chief, by the devil. Easy. Take it easy. You, you're wasting your time. You are wasting your time. If you know what is good for you, hit the door. I will never marry you. you... <laughs> Father, did you hear her? You are possessed uh, by please, the devil. Please, take it easy. I'll talk to you later, chief. To her, she was walking away from me. You have to take this easy on her. 
and control your temper also. I would like to have a word with her. That is why I stopped by. Don't thank your star that the Reverend Sister is there today. The next time you do that to me, I will break that your big head or those your ten tiny legs. Confirmed from the doctor that she's pregnant for that useless, good for nothing gold digger. Now, can you all see the shame she has brought into this family? Especially me as a knight? Daddy, please take it easy. Darling, please. Let's respect her choice. Yes. Let's give her relationship, their relationship, a chance. A chance? No way. Not under my roof. I was talking to her. Did she listen to me? No. I tried to reason with her. Did she reason with me? No. And you want me to give her a chance? What relationship? Now, as a matter of fact, let me tell you. Before I return to this house, make sure you are gone. You see yourself. You see, you see what you have done to yourself. Oh, God. Peace, you have killed me. Peace. God, what did I do to deserve peace? God. God, what did I do to deserve peace? Young lady, who are you? Please, I'm here to see Sammy. Just let him know I'm around. Where is he? Are you his sister or his girlfriend? What kind of questions are all this? Where is he? Obviously, you're not related to Sammy. Because if you were close to him, you should have known that he'd left the country by now. Traveled out? Oh God, that's a joke, right? Listen, I'm his wife. So can you be serious and talk to me? Wife? <laughs> oh my God. Shh, this is a joke. Listen, this flat belongs to my fiancé, Emeka. And we are getting married soon. So we don't need any intruder. Please, leave. You seriously traveled? Shh, I said leave. Help yourself out. <laughs> no, that's a joke. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Young lady, so you're still seated here. I know you're in a bad mood, but listen, just, just stop it. I need to wait for him. I asked you to leave and you stay here. Oh, you want to come and snatch my boyfriend for me? Oh, <laughs> I see. Just hold on. I'm coming. Wait for me.
doctor. Have you given her the tablet and the injection? Yes, doctor. Good. You can go. Yes, doctor. Young girl, you are all right now, okay? You go home with your sister. What's your sister you have uh, Really? Thanks. Yeah. Um, do I still need to be bringing her for checkups? No, 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 no. She's perfectly okay now. Unless she wants to register with us for Tinenta. You're pregnant? That means you're married. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm pregnant, but I'm not married. Okay, it's all right. Don't talk about that now. We'll talk about it later. Thank you very much, Doctor. Don't mention. I really appreciate it. I should be on my way now, okay? It's okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah? All right. Yeah, don't get Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm, it's a cut. I was using a knife and I had the cut. You have to be careful. Yeah, I will. So, baby, why did you treat her that way? You know, Sammy would have taken care of you if we were to be in her condition. God forbid. I can't be in her condition. You see that guy is stupid to have allowed Samuel to get her pregnant. A guy who is just courting with you. A guy who has no job, no home, no parents. What was she thinking? How did she expect the guy to cope? See, let me tell you. Peace does not care about all that. You know why? Her father is rich. Ah. Then why didn't she use her father's wealth to get him an apartment? Or at least set him up? <laughs> she would have done all that if this pregnancy thing didn't come up. <laughs> Please, spare me all that. See, all, I, all I know is I don't want any interruption in our relationship, period. Nobody's, nobody's interrupting our relationship, okay? So just zero your mind. Hmm? Promise. It's a problem. Come on, let's go. Let me take you home. Home to where? Your home, of course. So I can meet your husband. Oh. What's wrong? Oh. Okay, you know what? Let's just go to my house and we'll talk. Alright? Sure. That is how it happened. <laughs> so you mean your father asked you to leave the house? How can a knight behave like that? What kind of man is that? So where is Sammy? My father had to bribe Sammy to leave the country. He didn't want our plans to come to pass. Not knowing that I was already pregnant. So what do you want to do now? I didn't plan to do anything without him. I cannot believe he would betray me like this. I don't have anywhere to go. I don't know what to do. I don't have any plans without him. Don't worry. I'll be here for you, okay? And for now, you can be staying with me. And I assure you that Sammy still loves you. I believe that one day he'll come looking for you. No, he doesn't. Sure. No, don't cry. Don't cry. Thank you. You'll be fine. Okay, I'm here. You'll be fine, okay? Okay. Right. 
Oh my God, I have failed. I, Chief Naji, I will so deal with this Sammy boy. If I ever lay my hands on him, I will kill him. My five million naira gone just like that. My daughter is pregnant. My reputation is soiled and everything is gone. All because of that useless boy. My children no longer have regard for me. God, how did I get myself in this mess? Chief, you sent for me. Yes, yes. Um, I need to get that boy. That, that boy, that boy, we are going to, for him to go to Dublin. I need to get one. Why? Well, because the boy used me. He owed five million naira. That boy used me, took my money, and still got my daughter pregnant before he left. Chief, this could be a difficult task, you know. Why? Every time they go to Dublin, he disappeared. He disappeared? Yeah. So Jude don't know where he stays now? No. Really? Okay. How long will I continue to live like this? Where do I go from here? Do I go back and beg my dad? He might be too proud to accept me back. Maybe I should go to Sammy's uncle and explain things to him. Oh, no, 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 no. He won't let me in. I know he must be part of the plot. But then I should still give him a trial. I should let him know that I'm pregnant for Sammy. Maybe he'll be moved. What if he refuses to accept me? Oh, I will terminate the pregnancy and forget Sammy ever exists. I will erase him totally from my memory. You're causing yourself more harm than good. I, I'm, well, I'm fine. I'll, I'll be in the room soon. I'll go to bed soon. I understand what you're going through. I truly do. But you cannot continue like this. Look, I need you to know that what you're going through, it's just a face. And it will pass. It will. Alright, come. Come, let's go to bed. Just go and sleep and rest. And in the morning, you realize that the whole thing will just phew, fade away like a dream. I hope so. Um, let me put up the TV. I'll... Tomorrow, you'll be fine, okay? Thank you. Just cheer up.
baby. Oh, baby, stop, stop, stop. Oh. What? She, she want to kill my baby. You're pregnant? <sighs> yes. <laughs> Are you for real? I am. Wow! <laughs> Baby, are you kidding me? I'm not. I'm pregnant. You mean I'm going to be a father? <laughs> Baby, that's good news. Is it? Yes! Come, Baby. Come. Careful, Baby, come. careful. Go. Are, you, are you sure? You mean I'm going to be a father? <laughs> I want to get rid of it. <laughs> You're joking, right? You want to do what? You want to kill my baby? Our baby? God forbid. Baby, don't see it like that. My father will kill me. Baby, stop, 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 stop. You keep saying your father this, your father that. He's not going to kill you. He would rather kill both of us. Don't forget we're in this together. Come on. I don't understand. I don't know why. Baby, this is good news. Come on. <laughs> Okay. Baby. Hmm? Baby, wait. Wait. What, what are you doing? Baby. Let this tree bear me witness. With this nail, as far as it continues to be here, I will always be here for you. Try me. What if someone removes it? Baby, this is our spot, okay? Nobody comes here. Okay. I'll always be here for you, okay? I love you. I love you too. You <laughs> I'm going to be a father. Baby, come here. <laughs> wow. Thank you. <laughs> Forgive me, forgive me. 